therapy is like the world divided into your inner world and outside world. And the outside world, is you really can't control the outside world. But I think people, they can have the vibratory field, like if they have some connection with those work. So when people go into this field, they, they will feel the Luyang virtual world. Then I want to have some connection with the audience in Basel. I think normally, like I will, according to the space, I will design the space. I call it decoration. Because all of my works, they are very like virtual. So to make the exhibition, have to make it more decorated and the audience can feel more immersive. So this time it's, uh, for me, it's quite a huge space divided into five different kind of parts. I feel it's really, uh, I want to make it like a journey for audience, like this kind of feeling like audience, they can enter a dark space, then enter a bright space and dark space. So the walks, they have the connections, they connect with each other. At the final, they, they will find out all the connections with all my practice, all, the, all those walks. Yeah, I think that to build those kind of cosmos is also very fun. I really like amusement park, I really like those human-made environments and I'm very enjoyed to build this kind of work because those kind of things mostly I think I can actually create those kind of work in virtual world but the expression uh, bring me the chance to create something crazy in physical world so it's also bring me a lot of fun. The first room is about religion and brain science that's why I make it into a church, looks like church and the second room looks like a, like a cleaning room or like a dentist room. So the third room is a, a dark room. So the for, fourth room is more like a, a space. Uh, they looks like a cage and people, they can play in inside the virtual world. And the last room is very special one because I make it into a, an airport or a, airplane, aircraft feeling. And this room is really connect with my newest work, Doku the Self. And that work, it's starting from an aircraft. So uh, that's why I want to make the seat now we have those kind of seats here. It's, uh, actually, it's from the real, real aircraft. I think a lot of work is like I went to some place that's no one's there, or like natural places, like um, some rocks, beside ocean, those kind of in environments. I really like those kind of nature place. And I think that that moment is, I connect with the universe. So after that, I won't change any idea. So my part is like once I connect with the universe, have the idea, and after that is I'm, I'm a label for myself. There are quite many parts in the work, like the animation team or the rigging team or those kind of uh, materials or motion capture team. Yeah, the music is very important, but uh, all the way I cope with those musicians is like we are all creators. So they do their thing, I do my thing. I never asking them to do what kind of thing for me. So before I cope with them, I know what, what kind of music they are doing. Sometimes they find me, sometimes I find them. So it's more like I know if the music is matched with this work and, and uh, they just created it and I, I never changed their ideas. Yeah, I think it, that's quite a lot of philosophy ideas inside Doku the Self, so I can't really explain it very well, otherwise I don't need to do it. Dokusho Dokushi is a, a Japanese word, it's des described like die alone and then born alone. And it, it's actually from the very famous Buddhism Sutra. So the name I offer to Doku is like this kind of moment, whatever he is born as a digital human in a virtual world. So the six different form of the avatar Doku is from Buddhism idea, six reincarnations. I made it the game, the great adventure of material world also into six, six reincarnations. So this kind of topic has always happened in my work, but this time it's showing like six forms of the life we can have. Heaven, Astra, human, animal, 
hungry ghosts and hell. That's all our reincarnations. We can't choose, but it really depends on the karma. Doku the self, the sixth reincarnation, have, uh, like uh, appeared in this video is uh, with the dance. The, so the dance is very important to connect with those six form. And actually, those kind of motion capture data we got it. I got it in Indonesia just before COVID. So uh, I went to Indonesia, and those dancers they are amazing. They can do very detailed dance, and they like for example they start to practice from their five years old and they can control their facial muscles very well. Also their eyeballs very well, so they can use their facial muscles and eyeball stuff to dance. And during that time, I'm uh, like studying and uh, researching about uh, uh, how, pe how human beings, they can train themselves into a robot. That's another like, thing I'm researching and uh, I use those kind of data into Doku's work. I think it's all happened almost at the same time. Uh, like uh, I, I'm doing those kind of research and I also think about the uh, six reincarnations. So it happened very naturally. Mm -hmm.